Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. So we have this equation and I'll be presenting three methods. Suppose z equals a plus bi and we get the following. Now let's substitute. Now we can go ahead and solve this by using complex exponentiation. Write this as e to the power square root of a squared plus b squared multiplied by ln of a plus bi. And then this expression can also be written in polar form. Its modulus is 1 and argument is pi over 3 because tangent is root 3 and it's in the first quadrant. So we can kind of write it like this. And then by comparing the exponents we get this notice that the number on the right hand side is imaginary what about the left hand side let's use the definition of the natural log of a complex number which is the log of the modulus plus i times the argument now we don't know the argument but we know tangent theta is b over a so we can use arc tangent let's just assume that a plus bi is in the first quadrant so we can use arc tangent directly otherwise you have to adjust for the quadrant If you want to get the principal value, you can also set n equals 0. And let's distribute. Now notice that this complex number is equal to an imaginary number whose real part is zero. So the real part must also be zero here. But if the square root of a squared plus b squared is zero, then a squared plus b squared is zero. And that applies a and b to be zero because a and b are real. But if this happens then that means z is equal to zero and we have z to the absolute value of z which is zero to the power zero as you know that's equal to one right i made a video about it on my other channel you can check it out so that's not the case therefore this is not zero so the other factor must be zero ln of that which implies that a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 what does that mean it means because the absolute value is this and it's equal to 1 so you can replace absolute value of z with 1 and that'll give you the answer which is this one. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So for second method, let's go ahead and use the polar form. Set z equal to r e to the i theta, then the absolute value of z becomes r. z to the absolute value of z becomes r e to the i theta to the power r which is r to the r times e to the i r theta 
Now this is equal to this number, which is e to the power i times pi over 3. Let's go ahead and use the principal value this time. Now from this equality, can you deduce that this is equal to 1 and this is equal to that? Or is there another case? Think about it. If r to the r equals 1, then r equals 1 because r needs to be non-negative. So r can't be 0, right? And then we, this also gives us this equals this, which is r theta equals pi over 3. But r is 1, so theta is pi over 3. We have r, we have theta. Z is r e to the i theta, which is e to the i pi over 3, which is 1 over 2 plus root 3 over 2i, which is the original number given. All right, let's look at the third method. We have this, which is equal to this. I'm going to go ahead and absolute value both sides because if two numbers are equal, their absolute values are also equal, right? And this kind of gives us an interesting identity. Does this always work? Think about it. This is, you should be able to take this power out. And this is 1 because the absolute value of this number is 1. And this just implies absolute value of z is 1. And we had this equation. So now this is equal to 1. So z is equal to this number. Right? Here's the million dollar question. Are these always equal? In other words, if you have z to the power r, where r is a real number, is this always equal to this? And if r is not real, is there an identity as well? Okay? Something to think about. So we use the polar form, we use the nice identity. Third method is my favorite, but you'll get to decide which one is yours. And the first method basically uses the standard form. So let me know which method you like the best. And thank you for your patience while I try to regain my voice. So I'm trying to be careful. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye